Moosenberger, Ledbetter. Enjoying your day? I am. Thank you. I see you're still eating chickens for breakfast. You ever think of changing and maybe eating something else? I ain't never seen no reason to. Skeet. Are you aware there's a town ordinance that says you ain't allowed to eat or drink anything at someone's establishment that you purchased from somewhere else? I reckon I do call that. I'm a plumber. Well, why don't you follow the law and eat elsewhere? I ain't never seen no reason to. Now what if I was to press charges? You do that? Not saying I would, but what if? Well, if and you did, I believe that the ordinance states that the parties involved shall avoid the standing in front of the honorable, uh, whoever the hell it is at the time, by uh, wearing each other's, you know, skivvies. You sure about this? Oh, yeah. I seen it writing myself. Skivvies, huh? Yep. Matter of fact, I hear these two feuding fellas went 47 weeks straight. And it happened to be the hottest year in old sanity way back in 57. You, uh, you ever get that old Maytag of yours fixed? I ain't never seen no reason to. Enjoy your breakfast. Oh, thank you. you're wondering my neck's better oh I'm so sorry I didn't notice that's wonderful uh, what happened there ah, doc said it's either a sprain a strain a tear or a pull I think it's burdenitis okay all you pre-med students out there freaking out relax and put your pencils down it's not some kind of a new disease just something my grandma made up on her own but I'm sure you probably already figured that out for yourself, right? Let's hope. So where's it hurt? It's all over. I mean, here, there, here, there, and here. I mean, it's all around, both sides. Ah, hell, it's the whole damn thing. You gotta start taking better care of yourself. You know, you can start by eating this. It's bran. It's good for your digestion. Blech. Tastes like sawdust. Where's your new nurse? As requested. Eggs better Emma! You're up early. Grady, he's your new nurse. And I couldn't be happier. Grab yourself some popcorn. This is gonna be good. Please, continue. <clears throat> Very well. As requested, eggs Benedict. Benedict. My apologies, eggs Benedict with bacon and a side of toast. <gasps> Voila! I see somebody's changed their diet. Yes. 
and I couldn't be happier. Oh, so I've heard. Please, don't stop on my account. Enjoy. I plan on it. Absolutely wonderful, Grady. Thank you. Oh, I was nervous. It doesn't look anything like it did in the book. Looks can be deceiving, right, Grandma? I'm sure it's delicious. Yes, that's true. Very true. It's a shame. I had a late dinner last night, and I'm still full. How unfortunate. Doc said I have to do this for you three times a day. Grandma, do you remember the phone conversation we had on Monday? Do you talk to your grandmother like that? Oh, no. <sighs> but then again, I don't think she said anything bad. It was really more her tone. We called the agency and ordered yet another nurse to replace Larry. She does have a tone, doesn't she? The fourth one, if I'm not mistaken, in the past seven months, I think you got that backwards. No, I'm positive she's the one with the tone. Do you know what your problem is? You need a man in your life. Oh, no, thank you. I'm quite happy with my little lady. I was talking to Emma. I like Larry. Why don't you marry Larry? As a nurse. All the times I've had this done and I never once paid attention. You always chase away the good ones. And FYI, I don't need a man. I'm quite happy now. What does that mean? Well, I don't think she wants to get hitched. <laughs> the FYI part. Oh. Well, FYI, Larry didn't know the first thing about nursing. He didn't give you a cosmopolitan, did he? Grandma? Not even a sip. <gasps> you had alcohol? Grady, you are not qualified and therefore not going to be in charge of my grandmom's health. Why not? Everything the man touches comes back to life. Yeah, if you're a member of the kingdom of Planto, comprising of multicellular organisms that typically produce their own food from photosynthesis, and that have rigid cell walls containing cellulose. What are you talking about? Plants! Ugh. Where are you going? To pray for you, both. I don't think Jesus knows how this works either. You're sitting in the sinner's pew? Oh, well, I'm, I'm not required. I just, um... Oh, I understand. You're uncomfortable about the, uh... Yeah, but I understand. Well, bless you. <laughs> I, um... Uh, I, I'm not one to pry. But I, I take it that that's got to be mighty important for you to bring to church. What? Your envelope. Oh, <laughs> this? Mm -hmm. What's in it, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I don't mind. It's, it's nothing, really. It's just, um, it's after 10. All right. All rise. I said all rise, except the cute one. Bert, you may remain seated. Thank you. I have my eye on you. What did I do? Mm -hmm. All right. Be seated. Welcome. Today's gospel is taken from the book. Excuse me, Reverend. Is this going to be one of them long ones? Because mm -hmm. uh, I got, I got to get back to the shop. I, I got this, this a thing, this no, a real no. important Carl, thing I got to no. do. No, it's going to be a short reading. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Oh, that was quick. Sit down, Angus. Oh. False alarm. Yes. As I was saying, today's gospel is taken oh, from the Reverend, Reverend, uh, Graham wanted to be here, but he couldn't. There was trouble at the homestead, and he wasn't allowed, and uh, uh, I, uh, he wanted me to ask if I could, well, you know, take him home some blessings. What was that? He, he wants to take home a blessing. 
Oh, well, sure, that's all right. And, and, and uh, since he's the one that's taking blessings to uh, Harris, I was wondering if I could... Uh, you may take blessings home for both. Hallelujah! Say <laughs> uh, yes. I thought this was going to be quick. Well, it would be if I wasn't interrupted by 35 people. Uh, sorry, Reverend. Uh, I've been taking note that you've only been interrupted twice. Uh, three times now that Stan spoke. Well, that makes four. Five. Six. Seven. Stop it. I get it. I didn't mean 35 people. I was just trying to make a point. And what point was that? Well, uh, now, Stan. Is this the reading? No. This is taking much longer than you promised. Carl, you do realize you're part of the problem. What did I do? Maybe we could all just read it, you know, on our own, like homework. Works for me. Yeah, I'll do it. Scott Charlie. Oh, what the hell. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now get some blessings here. <laughs> How's that for a book? Hey, you got it. Yes, thank God for blessings. <laughs> thank God for hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> God save their pea picking souls. Hello, this is Shauna Rosatorsky, co-creator and producer of Insanity Florida. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click the circle. If you liked our story, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see another episode, just click the box to the left or the right. I know I speak for the whole town when I say thank you for visiting. See y'all soon.